The most interesting project, theoretically and politically, for anthropology and cultural studies and geography and other fields as well, which is how do we develop new ways of, for thinking about what is the status of difference today? And how do we develop new ways for thinking about difference? But also, how we bring that sort of politics of difference into our own ways of thinking and teaching. We, as human beings, also don't know really uh, what we want, where, where real pain. If, if people address us at a party uh, and emphasize our difference, we can get hurt and say, why aren't they treating me as if I'm one of them? And if they come and treat me as one of them, I say, hey, why can't you see me and my difference? The experience is that you can only find that through difference. That is to say, I only became aware that I was Canadian by going somewhere else. And then coming back and realizing that those, those intellectual cultures, whether they were Australia or the United States or England, that I was speaking a different language, which I then had to find. And it wasn't only because we come into these situations and, you know, we're, we're said, okay, you're speaking on behalf of Canada, you're speaking on behalf of Australia, whatever. Okay, so now you have to name your difference. But also that you do discover, to some extent, those genealogies of your own history by realizing that they're different from something else, which is also constituting them as different. And I have a dream of a course of a culture, Cultural Studies 101 Right, for the environment I described, where we can't do everything, but I would want to have dramatic stories by fabulous scholars who can take, talk to 18-year-olds about why and how did the concept of culture come to matter in the modern experience. In a way, there is there is a um, you know there's an expiry date on those European theorists. You know, this brings us to the question of multiple modernities, because the pedagogical situation is normally where you invite somebody into a shared language of rationality. You know, this is the this is you have your vernacular languages and your parochial thoughts, but in this context, we will share a universal language of rationality. Well, that used to be Euro modernity, but when you're looking at a situation where Descartes is no longer going to be read in Shanghai or um, Derrida will cease to be relevant in Ottawa one day. Um, um, whose, whose modernities are going to provide the rational yes. framework?